to tell you one to one. Just found out I've got BD. I tell you it's no fun. So I'm just writing this to you, cause you may have it too, since we were together. Together. So play it safe. Go to a clinic or see a doctor today. Play it safe. Go get a checkup and do it right away. Play it safe. You know I love you. Play it safe. I'm thinking of you and if you care for me, then play it safe. I'm telling you, VD doesn't play favorites. Yeah, I know. Anyone can get it. That means us. We're all in the running. All right. <laughs> Gonorrhea ain't no fun, but there is a cure. Syphilis ain't no fun, but there is a cure. Genital herpes ain't no fun. Ain't no cure. There's nothing like a rubber if you wanna play safe. There's nothing like a rubber if you wanna play safe. There's nothing like a rubber if you wanna play safe. There's nothing like a rubber if you wanna play safe. John is a good-looking guy, but he's got gonorrhea. This week, John had sex with Sue. Welcome to the gonorrhea club, Sue. Last week, it was Jill, also a member. A few weeks ago, it was Kathy. And before that, it was Meg. Meg's a busy girl. She's been passing her gonorrhea germs to Bob, Jack, and Dave. Kathy's been generous with her germs to Jake and Alan, while Jill made a present of hers to Barry. Barry distributed his to Rachel and Lola. Bob, Jack, and Dave gave their gonorrhea to Rose and Vinnie, Norma, Sandra, and Tammy, Becky, Liz, and Jean. Now, Jake and Alan have been circulating their gonorrhea to Christine and Lanny, while Rose, Vinnie, Norma, Sandra, Tammy, Becky, Jean, and Liz are all busy giving away their gonorrhea germs to... <sighs> this is getting too complicated. I need a calculator. If you think you've got VD, don't walk. Run to the nearest health center and bring your sex partner with you. For girls who want a guarantee to nix the chance of Team BD, if boys propose to have sex play, just shake your head and say, no way. Stand by, camera two. Okay, one, please. Stand by. Three, Five seconds. Two, one. Two talent of camera one. Okay, brace yourself for some facts. We're going to talk about syphilis, the most dangerous of all the venereal diseases if left untreated. There are three stages to syphilis, or bad blood as it's sometimes called. First stage, 10 to 90 days after exposure, a painless sore may develop in the genital area. In the female, the sore may be internal and go unnoticed. Second stage, two weeks to six months later, a rash 
or sores may appear on any part of the body. Other symptoms can be fever and a general sickish feeling. Third stage, the symptoms go underground and the germ goes into work in some many nasty ways. Untreated syphilis can cause severe birth defects, heart disease, blindness, insanity, and death. So be sensible. At the first sign or symptom, or even if you just suspect you have it, go to your public health center or to your private doctor immediately and just thank your lucky stars there is a cure. Oh, I say, old chap, if you suspected that someone had dropped a bit of arsenic into this lovely dish, what would you say? Thanks, but no thanks. There are other kinds of tempting dishes. Now, if the thought went through your head that this lovely creature might just have a bit of syphilis or a tiny thing of gonorrhea, or maybe a touch of herpes. What would you say, old chap? Thanks, but no thanks. The moral of the story, know your dishes. Okay, it's fact time again. Gonorrhea, often known as drip, clap, dose, or strain, is the most common of the venereal diseases. The symptoms in the male two to eight days after exposure may be irritation or discharge. In the female, two to eight days after exposure, they may also be irritation or discharge. However, in the female, the infection often progresses without any noticeable symptom. Gonorrhea, if untreated, may cause sterility, blindness, arthritis, and severe internal damage to both male and female. So be sensible. At the first sign or symptom, or even if you may suspect that you have it, or that your sex partner may have it, go immediately to your public health center or your private doctor. Just thank your lucky stars. There is a cure. If you think you've got VD, don't walk. Run to the nearest health center and bring your sex partner with you. The perfect VD preventative is the word no. Bob and Beth are a twosome. Bob's got gonorrhea. He gives it to Beth. Bob goes for treatment. Beth reinfects him. Beth goes for treatment. Bob reinfects her. Ping pong is fun, but not played with VD. Steady partners should be treated at the same time to avoid reinfecting each other. Fact time again. Genital herpes is a nasty disease which is presently spreading like wildfire, especially among teenagers. And don't let anyone kid you, it is very catching. Herpes symptoms come on from 3 to 20 days after having sex with an infected person. The symptoms start with itching, followed by clusters of uh, fluid-filled blisters. The blisters can be very painful, and when they break, they form running sores. Usually, the sores uh, go away after 2 to 4 weeks. 
However, in many people, the virus has just become dormant and the symptoms can start all over again. Generally, when it comes back, and it can come back often, the attacks are not as bad as the first time. The herpes virus is spread during sexual intercourse, particularly if sores are present. Therefore, you should not, and I repeat, not have sexual intercourse until all the sores are healed. That means every time the blisters appear, no sex until they are all healed. A gift of herpes is forever. For boys who want a guarantee to nix the chance of Team VD, when girls say, please unzip my dress, just firm your lips and don't say yes. Get a free, confidential examination at your local health clinic. What will they do to me? You will be asked questions about how you feel, previous diseases, and when and with whom you have had sex. Sue, this is a speculum. We use this to examine you. You will then be examined by a doctor. If syphilis or gonorrhea is suspected, a specimen is collected and examined under a microscope. A cul de sac. There. That's all. That wasn't so bad, was it? No. That's good. A routine blood test for syphilis will be taken. If the results are positive, you will be treated with one or more injections of penicillin or medication taken by mouth. Are you sure? Okay, I think I'll do that all right. Good. Oh, look, the fortune. Oh, great. Oh, I can't wait to dig in this. You know, I always figure these are some sort of dessert. They are the dessert. Make sure you not very big. I swear. Well, that's why Chinese people are so thin. Okay, everybody, listen, I'm going to read my fortune now. This ought to be interesting. Yeah. I hope. Sensible person knows VD is very catching. Take care not to have sex with infected person. Oh, oh that nice. you, know, you know who should hear about that. What's it say? Wise men say, young people, be careful. 75% of VD cases occur between 15 and 30. Oh, oh wow. That's, that's so nice. careful. <laughs> yeah, that's that's nice. Hey, that's listen to this. You're too smart to drink from a common cup or have sex with someone who hops from bed to bed. That's good. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Okay, you guys, my turn. Sure way for a young person not to catch VD is wait to have sex until married. So That's true. Good so advice. My grandfather used to always say that. Now listen to this. Confucius say, play it safe. If get VD, be treated. Can find address a free clinic and telephone book. So, play it safe. Play it safe. Play it safe. Play it 